In today's video, we'll introduce the must-have Skyrim mods for the fourth week of April 2024. This episode promises to be exciting as we showcase some groundbreaking mods that have recently emerged. With plenty of surprising additions, feel free to spread the word about this video. First up, let's dive into gameplay-related mods, starting with Simple Beheading. This mod enhances combat in Skyrim by allowing characters to perform beheadings when attacking enemies. You have the flexibility to adjust settings through the INI file, such as setting regular attack, chances to 100 to ensure a 100% chance of beheading with normal attacks. Additionally, you can customize whether sounds play when beheadings occur, restrict NPC beheadings to only the player character, toggle beheading for each weapon type, and even decide whether beheadings should occur when blocking. Moreover, users have been providing various feedback on this mode inquiring whether it's possible to add the option to cut parts other than the head, or to disable decapitation when wearing a helmet. Given that this mode has quite innovative features, it's worth paying attention to whether there will be updates regarding these aspects in the future. Next up is Rim Parry and Execution. This mod allows you to perform a powerful strike on enemies when you successfully execute a block bash attack as they attack you. When their stance breaks, you can strike them with a powerful blow to their front or back. It replaces the block animations for most weapons, allowing you to parry NPCs and Draugr using weapon and shield block backstabs. It's compatible with Elden Rim, Weapon Arts, and Elden Parry, enabling you to execute damage after successfully parrying an NPC or Draugr twice. The addition of the parry and execution system can significantly change combat dynamics which I believe is a crucial aspect of battles. Enhance your combat experience by adding the parry and execution feature. Next up is Menu Zoom. This mod enables inventory zoom functionality for crafting and magic menus. You can zoom in and out of the inventory menu by pressing C or scrolling the wheel up on an item and exit by pressing the ESC key. It also adds mouse rotation to spell shout visual effects and supports controllers, making it a simple yet intriguing mod with some added functionality beyond just keyboard controls. Next up is Light, the Ultimate Dodge Mod. This mod is a more lightweight version of the original The Ultimate Dodge Mod, with additional features added. While it reduces the animation directions from eight to four, there is an option to select the 8-direction version separately. Pressing the dodge button again during a step, dodge triggers a roll dodge. Moreover, while drawing and charging a bow, if you continue to press the attack key after dodging, you can shoot an arrow without having to redraw and recharge. It offers quite a variety of features. The ultimate dodge mode was a highly appreciated dodge mode in the past, especially for enabling NPCs to utilize dodging effectively. This mod also ensures that such NPC functionalities work well and can be used alongside TK Dodge, making it worth your attention. In this segment, we'll discuss animation mods, particularly those related to movesets. First up is the ADXP MCO BDO Guardian Awakening mod. Inspired by the Guardian character from Black Desert Online, this mod includes a variety of animations for the battle axe. It features standard attacks, power attacks, charge attacks, evasive maneuvers, and side attacks, all seamlessly integrated with each other. With faux mod support, you can choose to apply these animations to either battle axes or warhammers, and decide whether they're for the player or NPCs. Even if you're not a Black Desert aficionado, the scarcity of movesets for battle axes or warhammers coupled with the natural feel and the authentic representation of heavy weapons, makes this mod a worthy addition to your collection. Next up, introducing the Vindictus, Fiona moveset for Skyrim, meticulously crafted by XY. This moveset faithfully translates Fiona's combat techniques from Vindictus into the world of Skyrim. It precisely captures her array of attacks, defensive maneuvers, dodges, counters, and abilities, all while infusing XY's unique flair for more dynamic and visually appealing action. By combining directional keys with attack buttons, players can unleash an extensive variety of special attacks. 
The animations for shielding against enemy blows and delivering swift counterattacks are seamlessly integrated. If you're a fan of Vindictus, or have been searching for a comprehensive sword and shield moveset, Vindictus Fiona moveset comes highly recommended. Additionally, there is an animation mod called Unarmed Normal and Power Attacks by creator Vera Levy. This mod is for barehanded attack motions and comes in a non-MCO ADXP version. It changes the normal and powerful punches, as well as the dual powerful attacks, into new animations. Those who do not use MCO ADXP may find this motion of particular interest. In this segment, we'll introduce a few visual-related mods. First up is Rally's Banners of Skyrim. This mod completely overhauls all banners within Skyrim. It transforms every in-game banner with new fabric, embroidery, and stitching. While completely revamping the banners with fresh materials and handcrafted details, it maintains the game's aesthetics and original design. The mod recreates the banners by hand, enhancing Skyrim's ambiance with a more vibrant and authentic feel. Next up is Divide and Conquer, a noble divider replacer. This mod replaces the aristocratic divider and the box back model. It's a very simple model that uses 2K textures, offering the advantage of being lightweight. Additionally, there are replacers for Frank Black's Hawk and Hagraven Feathers. Both mods are ESP-free for hassle-free installation, which you may find convenient. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the outfits and weapon modes. In particular, let's take a look at Melodic's Raven Woman outfit. This outfit adds a high-quality black ensemble with a crow theme. The crow feather decoration on the right shoulder and the chain accessories enhance the outfit, making it even more alluring for your female character. It's especially suitable for agile concepts like assassins or archers. Next up is Sword of Kings. This mod introduces a high-quality one-handed longsword, crafted by John Skirim. The blade is particularly notable for the inscription running down its center, adding a profound aura to the weapon. It's a versatile armament that can be wielded effectively by warriors and assassins alike. Thank you for joining us in today's video showcasing the must-have new Skyrim mods for the fourth week of April 2024. We hope you enjoyed discovering these groundbreaking mods as much as we did. Remember, there's always something exciting on the horizon in the Skyrim modding community, so stay tuned for more incredible content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest Skyrim modding trends. Until next time, happy modding!